a device that's used to interconnect the computing devices to form a network is a network device. So now let's discuss about device types. So these are the basic networking devices hub, bridge, modem, switch, router. Hub. Hub, it's an device that's used to connect multiple computers as a single LAN network. Generally hubs are available with 4, 8, 12, 24 and 48 ports. There are two types in hubs. That's passive hub and active hub. Passive hub is nothing. For example, if there are eight port, it's an eight port hub. If a data is a data signal is received from port one, then the same signal will be broadcasted or forwarded to all the remaining seven ports. It's a passive hub that forwards signals to all ports except the port on which data signals arrived. In terms of active hub, it's same as like the passive hub. That's if it will broadcast the same signal to all other remaining ports except the port on which the data signal arrived. But in addition to that, it will also improve the quality of a signal by amplifying it. So it's also known to be a repeater. Next one is bridge. It's a device that's used to connect different computing devices and also used to divide a large network into smaller segments. Basically bridges used to do divide a large network into smaller segments. The reason is, in case of a large network, it's very difficult to maintain and manage. But if the same network is divided into multiple smaller segments, then it's very easy to manage or maintain. A modem. It's a device that's used to, to connect with the internet using telephone lines. The main function of the modem is to convert the digital input digital signals to analog signals and the same analog signals to digital signals. See so if we see in this picture, for example, this PC1 sends a file or share a file to PC2. So when the data is transmitted to the modem, uh, the same file will be in digital, digital format. If once it reaches the modem, that will be converted as analog signal and it will transit transmitted through the telephone links. At as like the same, vice versa, in the receiver end, the receiver end modem, the same analog signal will be again converted as a digital signal and represented to the PC2. This is the function of modems. Switch. It's a device that's used to connect multiple devices to form a network. Unlike hub, it won't broadcast the data to all. Instead, it will receive a packet, process it and forward the data to a destination device. For example, in hub, if a particular data is received on port 1, the same data will be transmitted to or broadcasted to, broadcast to remaining 7 ports. But in case of switch, if PC1 want to send a data to PC4, then the data will be particularly sent to only PC4 after the data is after it's processed. router. It's a layer 3 device that's used to forward a data from one network to another network. Usually the data will be forward based on the destination address. So for this the router will be maintaining a table, database table known as a routing table. Here it will, con uh, it will contain the entire paths for the data to be transmitted or forwarded to the next hope. Routing table can be built statically or dynamically that we'll discuss in later sessions very briefly. So these are the types of networking devices that generally we are using. Apart from this, there are some other networking devices we'll discuss on later.